what's going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having an amazing day in this video we're going to be discussing about some crazy options activity around palantir technologies despite of a lot of negative news happening i still see a huge growth and certain strike prices i want to show that with you and we can discuss on it and if you have any type of feedback on this please leave it in the comment section with that let's get started welcome back guys if you are here for the first time do not forget to smash that subscribe button and like this video so you don't miss out great contents every single day about different stuffs in the stock market so today we're going to be talking about palantir technology right now overall the stock is doing pretty good i have personally gained about 700 dollars daytime and 309 dollars after hours but let's talk about what is happening around palantir technology Palantir right now it is trading at $25.12. The stock was up around $29 about two days ago, but now it dropped to $25. I know a lot of people were talking about that the lockup period is about to expire. It have that 90 days grace period that is gonna be expiring on December 31st, which is gonna be today. But after that, the price start to drop down by the end of November, slowly dropped all the way to $22 and picked up right away went to $28 and all this lockup talks and other short sellers talking negative thing about Palantir the stock price to start to drop down and today there is another article on Yahoo calculating the fair value of Palantir technology you know a lot of people are talking about Palantir technology is highly overvalued I'm not gonna deny that and say oh it's not overvalued I know it is overvalued one thing that really impressed me is that the persistence of this negative news coming around palantir technologies every single day there is something going on around palantir stock but today i have seen a crazy options activity despite of the fact that palantir is breaking below its resistance so this article is saying that calculating the fair value of palantir technology today we will do a simple run through of evaluation method used to estimate attractiveness of palantir technology as an investor opportunity by taking the expected future cash flow and discounting them to the present value we will use the discounted cash flow model on this occasion now let's go to the numbers crunching we are going to a two-stage dcf model which as the name states takes into an account two states of growth to start off we need to estimate the next 10 year cash flow they're putting two things into consideration discounted cash flow and free cash flow and they're going to calculate the present value 10 years cash flow and let's see how they did that first they calculated the discounted cash flow so all about the dollar amount in the future is less valuable than the dollar amount today because of inflation deflation you know where the economy is heading the second thing they calculated is 10 years free cash flow for that they needed leveraged free cash flow they gathered that from wall street the other thing they needed is growth rate estimate source this is pretty much gathered from different analysts and finally by taking out that 7.1 percent they start to gather these numbers for example right here if you see that it's 64.6 million dollars if you take out that 7.1 percent from that 64.6 million dollars i will give you that 60.3 million dollars if you want it we can do a very quick calculation the first thing is we're going to take that 7.1 percent from the existing free cash flow so let's say that it is 100 percent let's take that 7.1 percent which is going to give us 92.9 then we're going to multiply this by free cash flow which is 64.6 million dollars when you multiply this two it will give you this number and you can simply divide it by 100 and you get that 60 million dollars and if you go back and cross check it right here it is 60 million dollars and 0.3 so pretty much that's what they did for the entire chart at the bottom once they found the present value discounted at 7.1 percent to find the present value of 10 years cash flow it is very easy you pretty much add all these 10 numbers and they divide it by 10 and eventually they got the present value 10 years cash flow pvcv for 8.9 billion dollars then after that they need to calculate that terminal value so after all the calculation that number became 54 billion dollars and last but not the least now they had to calculate the present value of terminal value for that they needed that 54 billion dollars and overall 
that number became 27 billion dollars and now we can do a simple math now they got that 27 billion dollars which is the present value of terminal value and on top of that earlier they got that 8.9 billion dollars present value of 10 years cash flow when you add that to you're pretty much going to get present value of future cash flow so if you add 27 billion dollars plus 8.9 billion dollars it's going to give us 35.9 billion dollars so if we go back here they kind of put it to 36 billion dollars right now we all are on the same page so right now if you go and see the market cap for palliative technology it is at 47 billion dollars and the price is at 25 dollars we can do a very simple simple math so for 36 billion dollars if the price for palantir technology is at 25 which is going to give us this number and when you divide that by 47 which is the current market cap it should give us the fair value the fair value should be 19 dollars and now let's go back and see what type of fair value they got the fair value they got is between 20 dollars and 59 cents so if we get it to the dot it should be that 19 to 20 dollars so we all are on the same page you know if we go into this type of calculation we have to calculate all the companies right now there are other companies if we do the same number we're gonna get a very very small share price now despite of all this happening one thing that i noticed today about palantir is especially after hours there is crazy amount of option activities specifically for the state january 15th 2021 if you see at the bottom it has almost 254,000 open interest which means the contract that has been held between me and you i don't understand why that is happening the reason i say that is because if you go and see the chart right now back in the days i was making a video where palantir is about to break after this beautiful triangle it did that breakthrough from 25 dollars it jumped to 29 dollars and 42 cents but after that slowly start to create a lower lows and lower highs and what i was expecting based on this chart palantir technology should be going down despite of that happening a lot of people are buying a call option specifically for 30 dollars strike price this is going to be expiring in the next 16 days we have about 49,351 open interest today only there is more than 12,000 volumes overall there are a lot of activities especially after hour i don't know what is happening maybe palantir is gonna go up like people say for two thirty dollars but a lot of bad news is around this company i hope i kind of brought this into your attention and i hope and palantir goes to thirty dollars but despite of all this negativity happening and what the graph is indicating us it looks like the stock is creating the lower lows and lower highs one all these things start to clear off maybe it could be in the next one to two weeks i don't know when it's gonna be maybe we're gonna see palantir technology going to 30 35 dollars like a lot of people want to but it's worth putting it on your watch list all i am doing it is bringing it into your attention and i hope you guys enjoy this video please do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel